This episode of D News is brought to you by the Toyota Prius. Let's lead the way. All right, guys, today we're gonna talk about pop. It's soda. It's totally pop. Well, whatever your name is for the soft drinks, it's probably bad for you. <laughs> hey guys, Julia here for D News. Soda often gets targeted in anti-obesity campaigns, but what about anti-cancer campaigns? A recent study from the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health assessed the risk of an ingredient in popular sodas that might be harmful. The ingredient, 4-MEI, forms during the manufacturing of the caramel color. A 2007 study from the U.S. National Toxicology Program found evidence of tumors in mice who consumed the compound in high doses. Now, of course, mice are not humans, but in 2011, the state of California listed 4-MEI as a possible carcinogen. Soft drink manufacturers started to decrease the amount found in their beverages, but it seems only for that state. 4-MEI is in a lot of other things too. It can form when coffee beans are roasted or when meat is cooked. Yet according to the FDA, carbonated beverages contribute to around a quarter of the consumption of the compound, more than any other source. The compound isn't harmful at low levels, but the researchers from Johns Hopkins wanted to find out how much was actually in soda and if it was enough to pose a risk. They found that 4-MEI varied across samples, even for the same type of beverage, so they couldn't really recommend one brand of drink over the other. However, Keeve Nachman, PhD, senior author of the study, concluded that soft drink consumers are being exposed to an unavoidable and unnecessary cancer risk from an ingredient that is being added to these beverages simply for aesthetic purposes. But 4-MEI might not be the only thing in your fizzy drink that's potentially worrisome. Researchers from Tufts University found a possible link between sodas that contain caffeine and phosphoric acid and lower bone density in a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. A more recent study in 2014 from the American Society for Nutrition found evidence that drinking soda is associated with a risk of weak bones and hip fractures in women. But the real danger from soft drinks and colas comes from their sugar content. Sodas are notoriously sugary. Keeping your soda sipping in moderation is fine, but if you drink them regularly, one to two cans a day or more, you are 26% more likely to get type 2 diabetes than people who rarely have such drinks, according to a study published in Diabetes Care. Sugary drinks are often named a leading cause of obesity. One study published in the International Journal of Obesity found an association between obesity and consumption of soft drinks, probably because of the calories from sugars. According to the Harvard School of Public Health, a 20 ounce soda contains 15 to 18 teaspoons of sugar and upwards of 240 calories, while a 64-ounce fountain cola could have up to 700 calories. So it's no wonder another study published in the journal Lancet found that for each additional 12-ounce soda kids drink a day, their odds of becoming obese increase by 60%. But as we like to caution on D News, correlation does not equal causation. Drinking a lot of soft drinks might be just one sign of other related unhealthy behaviors that lead to obesity. More research is needed please. Soft drinks are way too popular to go away anytime soon. The Johns Hopkins study found that around half of people over the age of six drink at least one can of soda a day. I mean, they're delicious. So like most things in life, guys, everything in moderation. So how often do you crack open a can of soda? Are you trying to cut back? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back to D News. We have new episodes every day of the week. This episode of D News is brought to you by the Toyota Prius. Let's lead the way.